Hello and welcome. Today I want to teach something to the needle tatters. That's why I've got my needles out. Uh, we're going to learn the S chain and the Z chain on needle. Alright, in shuttle tatting it's a matter of just putting your stitches on and being done. Needle tatting has a few extra steps, but we can do it. These chains are normally called a Josephine chain, and they are set up in um, sets. Not really sets. Um, let me see how to explain it. It will have a pattern that says, do five first half so many times, okay? Or do ten some second half so many times. Depending on the half stitch, depends on if you're doing an S chain or a Z chain. The S chain is done with the second half stitch, and the Z chain is done with the first half stitch. Now, on Georgia's website, she's got a picture that shows the different chains that you can tat on a needle, and she's got little chopsticks. Well, we discovered while we was making these videos that those chopsticks are a little messed up. The S chain is actually the Z chain, and the Z chain is actually the S chain. But that happens because they are so closely related, it's easy to put the wrong thing in the wrong place. So nothing against Georgia. We all make mistakes. We're all tatters, and there's not a mistake that some of us haven't made. And the thing of it is, is our mistakes we share with other tatters so that they can learn from our mistakes and not make the same mistake. So, let's get on with it. The first thing we're going to do is the S chain. Now, we've got our needle threaded. Now, you don't need a huge tail here on the end. Just enough for practice. You don't need a huge loop either. Just enough for practice. Now, for my own preference, I always, when doing either the S chain or the Z chain, I will always put in a double stitch first. Reason being, to me, it locks that chain into place. Okay? So, the second half is what we make the S chain with. The second half is not when you turn the thread over, but when you grab the thread from under and bend your knuckle. And we're going to do five of those in a row. And you're going to find, oh, i got to do that other half. Catch yourself before you go any further. Okay? Let's see how many of these we've got on here. Well, we've got our five. So then we're going to take our thread and run it around the needle. Let's do five more. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay. And there is our S chain. And it's really predominant. Let me show you on here. You can see how that relates to an S. See how this thread right here. Let me get a crochet hook. See this thread? It's coming down in this angle. Okay, it's going to the right. That is an S chain. Now, we're going to put in a double stitch. Complete double stitch. Well, I just added another one to that chain. Let's put in our double stitch. One. All right, we've got our complete double stitch in. Now, we want to do our Z chain. Z chain is the first half of the double stitch. We're going to put in five. One, two, three, four, five. Now, we got to roll it around. Okay, tighten up our stitches. And we're going to do another five. One, two, three, four, five. Roll it around. There is our Z chain. Okay, and if you will notice, on the Z, the slant of our stitches goes right along with the Z. Okay? 
So I hope that showed you the difference between the S chain and the Z chain, commonly called Josephine chain. It just depends on which half stitch you use to create the illusion of an S or a Z. To the right is an S, to the left is a Z. Okay, so I hope that explained it for you, and I hope you enjoyed this video, and there'll be more coming out later on, so look for them. Until then, thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day, and happy tatting.